In this video series, we want to take you through the process of setting up a model coordination space with design collaboration models. So just to explain this before we get into the software, one way to think about it is having a Navisworks NWF file format as a container file and the cached files uh, coming from your Revit design collaboration environment in the shared folder. So uh, basically what we'll be doing here is if you're working in Revit Cloud work sharing, you're working with your Revit files that you're syncing to central in the work in progress folder. So if we look at the architecture, mechanical and structural environment, this is um, a, a typical workflow we'd be um, collaborating in. When these teams decide to collaborate with each other, they'll publish the sets from Revit into BIN 360 Design for design collaboration. This will typically um, be saved out into their Teams folders. This will be reviewed and then when the project associate or project architect or engineer has reviewed that information, they can then uh, create sets to share. So they can create these, these packages inside of the BIN 360 Design collaboration environment. And this sits within the shared environment, this is our common data environment, which is now available for others to consume back within their Revit Cloud work sharing project. Now, these act as like the cached copies of the files, just like in the Navisworks situation where you'd bring in all these cached copies of the files and you would uh, bring them into a Navisworks file format environment or save it out as an NWD, uh, similar sort of principle here. So this is all happening in the project folder environment. We want to then bring these, uh, in essence, cached files from that shared folder, and this is in the large model viewing file format, into this environment. So what we need to do inside of the plans folder where model coordination works, we're gonna create an empty uh, model that will act as a central model, and we're gonna do this as the Revit cloud saving. It doesn't have to be a, um, Revit design collaboration or Revit cloud work sharing environment. It's just save the model as a cloud. And we're gonna set up some views with the linked models. And again, these could be um, set up with the visibility graphics to maybe display things by discipline, by zones, by different um, uh, building levels, etc. So all we're doing here from the plans folder is we're linking these, in essence, cached files that have been approved in the shared folder, we're linking from that shared folder into um, this central model, and then we can use those files with the views for clash detection. So hopefully this will make sense in a second. We'll, we'll demo it and show you how to set this up and then potentially use model coordination with your BIN 360 design data.